Hi everyone, welcome back. I am super, super, super excited to film today because if you haven't watched my video of the brands that I want to try. I posted it a few videos back. I will link it up in the cards for you if you haven't checked it out. And we're going to jump right into those brands, starting with Rose and Ben Beauty. Rose and Ben Beauty released a set of makeup brushes and I did purchase some of them. So I'm super excited to try them out with you today and see what we can create. Rose is someone that I really find a lot of inspiration and creativity from. She posts on TikTok and Instagram and she's really fun to follow. She does tutorials on her Instagram stories and she does a lot of comparisons and just she's super creative and she teaches a lot. So I'm really excited to try these brushes and also support her because she inspires me so much. And yeah, let's get into it. I am so jittery, I'm excited. Before we get started though, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button. It would mean so much to me and we will get going. I did go ahead and lay some of my base down. I don't have a brush for like foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer. Although technically one of the brushes I have seen use as foundation, but I wanted to try it out as Rose uses it for blush. So that is going to be the C41. It's kind of this really cool shaped fluffy brush. And then the other brushes that I have from her are eye brushes. So we've got the C28, the E24, the C31, which this one is, she uses a lot for eye primer, so that's how we're gonna use this one. And then the last brush I have is the E29, which is like your big fluffy blending brush. But for now, we're gonna start with the C24, which is gonna be used for blush. Lately, I have just been in love with my NARS powder blush. This is in the shade Orgasm. It's super pretty. It's got like a golden sheen to it. So we're just gonna dip into here a couple times and just apply. Ooh, that's a really nice blush brush. Very easy to apply, super soft too. And it lays the pigment down really nice. It's not picking up too much. I can't express how soft this brush is. It's, you know how sometimes when you like, you're using a brush and it's like, ouch, that one that kind of hurts a little more than it should. This does not have that whatsoever. I like to apply a little bit of blush on my forehead to go with the bronzer. So it's actually really nice for that as well. I think that applied beautifully. It's quite large, but it's not overbearing. So you're actually getting a really even application with this. And it just, it's like a perfect shape right there to hug your eye and not get blush too close to your eye. I mean, unless you want it like that, but. For me, it's a really nice application. Again, super soft bristles. And from what I can see so far, no like fallout from the bristles. And then I just like to go over any application with my sponge. I will do this no matter what brush I use. And then I am actually going to be using the E29. This is the really big fluffy brush. And I'm gonna use it to apply my highlighter. I'm gonna go into my Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. This is in the shade light. I'm just gonna use this highlight. But I am gonna take this big fluffy brush and apply my highlight because I don't think I'll be using it in my eyes today. Which this is also something I have seen Rose do where she takes a smaller, more precise brush for her highlight just to pinpoint exactly where she wants it on her face. And yeah, I think that's applying beautifully. Again, super soft, not pokey at all. And I think that was a good choice of a brush for a highlight because look at how seamless that is. And it's small enough to get down the center of your nose and not make your whole nose highlighted. And then I also really like it for the cupid's bow because then it's not getting like in the space between where you want it and like under your nose. Again, super soft bristles, very easy application, no shedding. For eye primer, I'm gonna go into my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow primers. It just really helps keep my eyeshadow from not creasing, especially because I have hooded eyes. So I am gonna apply this like I normally would. And then we're gonna take the C31, which is this kind of 
circly tapered type brush and apply it. This is also the brush that Rose likes to use to apply her eye primer, so that's why we're using this one for this. But I do actually like the way this is blending it in. It's very soft. It's not hard on your eyes at all. And it really applied it evenly where sometimes I get a little too much in one spot. This really helped to like share it out so it was applied evenly. I'm running out so it might look like I'm applying a lot but it's almost empty. And we'll just blend it in with this brush. I also like that it's small enough to really get in this inner corner. This is a really good eyeshadow primer brush. For eyeshadow today, we're gonna dip into my Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. Feeling of being a little bit more bronzy today. But we're gonna keep it simple for now and we're gonna go into this shade, which is called Beach. And then we're gonna take the E28 brush, which is it's a little bit thinner, but it's still pretty fluffy. And it kind of fans out towards the top. But this is the brush Rose likes to use to do those transition shades. And she likes to pat instead of swiping. So we're gonna try it her way. And we're just going to pat and lay this in our crease and a little above because I have hooded eyes. So I like to make sure that color is above the real crease. That way when my eyes are open, you can still see the color. The way Rose teaches on Instagram is she picks up a very light amount of the product so it doesn't go on super heavy and then she works to build it up. That way she's not getting too much pigment to begin with and then having to over blend and making it look patchy to get rid of some of that pigment. She just likes to take a really small amount of the product and apply it and if it's not enough pigmentation for it, she will take the time to build it up. So that's what I'm trying to do is just really build it up to the intensity that I want while still trying her techniques. But I will say just by patting instead of swiping back and forth, it's blending out very, very nicely, very easily. And it might take a little bit longer right now, but it's definitely not patchy by any means. I'm gonna do the same thing to this eye. And again, I'm just going to pat wherever I want that pigment. And if it's not enough pigment for me, then I'll go back into the product and add more. But we're still going to be using these tapping motions instead of swiping. I know that takes a little bit longer, but look at that blend. It is just seamless and not patchy whatsoever. This brush is amazing. And I just took it on the side of the brush and just patted everywhere. But I know Rose uses it in so many different other ways. Again, if if you have not checked out her Instagram and TikToks, go follow her. I will leave her Instagram in the description below. She is amazing, but this brush is magical. And because I don't wanna quit using it, I'm just gonna take a dry hand towel and wipe it off. That way I'm not mixing any pigments. And we're gonna go into this shade, which is called Suntan. And same thing, I'm picking up a very small amount and I'm gonna focus it a little bit more in my real crease to kind of put some more definition there. And again, we're just gonna tap. I am focusing this color more on this outer third of my eye here because I do wanna use a shimmer for the main part of my lid. And then I want to do a little bit of more smoky. So I'm just gonna focus this color in the outer third crease and on the lid a little bit. And another trick that I learned from Rose is that if you do have hooded eyes, instead of raising your eyebrows to make that skin lift up, she says it's best to keep your face more relaxed, but if you need to get into that crease, lean your head back and it will naturally get rid of that crease for you. But then your face is still relaxed, so you're getting it, getting pigment in the correct spots instead of lifting your eyebrows and kind of getting it in wonky places that you might not want it. And again, the blend is just stunning to me. I don't know why other brushes don't do this so easily. This is crazy. My left eye is much more hooded than my right eye. So I tend to lift my eyebrows for that side. So I'm trying to be diligent in just leaning my head back 
That way I am applying Rose's teaching skills. Next we're gonna go into the shimmer. It's this shade here, it's called Silk. And I use my fingers to apply the shimmers from Natasha Denona. I think that's the best way to apply for her formula. I mean, the truth of the matter is applying makeup and finding awesome formulas just brings me so much joy. And these brushes are just like giving me all of the joy today. I am going to go back into the beach shade, which was our first transition shade. Going back in with our C28 brush, and I did wipe it off again so we don't have the darker color on it anymore. I'm just taking a little bit, and I'm going to pat in that shimmer as well. That way it's not such a harsh shimmer to matte line. The last brush we have is the E27. I will say I have used this brush before because I couldn't resist. I love the precision in this brush. This is one of the smaller brushes. It's kind of got this fan type shape to it, but it's so, so nice to use. So what I'm gonna do is go into this suntan shade again, and it fits so nicely on your lower lash line. And I'm going to stamp the way Rose does because she mentioned that when you swipe back and forth, there's a good chance there's pigment going into your eye, which really never crossed my mind before. So I'm just gonna get all of the pigment down first on both eyes. Like look at this, look at how perfect it fits right there on the outer corner. I can confidently say I don't have another brush that does that. Now that the pigment's applied, I wiped off my brush and now I'm going to blend my lower lash line. And because the pigment is laid down now, we can swipe. But even small brushes like this are really nice for blending. And it just looks super seamless. I, I don't know how she did it. I wiped off this brush a second time. And now we're going to go into the highlight that we used today from the Natasha Donata Glam Face Palette. So we're going to go back into this highlight. Still using the E27. And now you pick it up on the side of the brush. And then you have a really precise inner corner highlight, just like that. And then you can even bring it down on the lower lash line to connect everything. And those are all the brushes that I have from Rose and Mint Beauty. So I am going to finish up my face, apply some mascara, do my eyebrows and get on a lip and we'll come back for my final thoughts. So here is our finished look. My hair is a little bouncy today. It the curling wand got away from me. But regardless, we're here to talk about Rose and Ben Beauty brushes. I think I might just be a little bit biased because I love watching Rose so much on social media that I think I went into this video knowing these brushes were already going to be phenomenal, amazing, spectacular, all of the good words you can possibly think of. So I think I am a little bit biased on that point, but at the same time, I mean, you watched the blend and you watched the application of the blush and the highlight and the eyeshadow and aside from like putting on the one shimmer with my finger you watched the inner corner you watched the underline like I didn't make it up that these brushes are good yes I went into this knowing these brushes were good but I also didn't make it up during this film. So I do hope you know that just because I love Rose so much does not mean I faked how these brushes performed. And again, throughout the video I told you these are some of the softest brushes I have ever used. They have not shedded, which I know might just be because they are brand new, but I've also seen reviews that they're meant to not shed. And aside from that, I feel really pretty today. I have, I'm having a good makeup day, so I'm going to credit the brushes to my good makeup day. But those are kind of my th final thoughts about the brushes themselves. Again, all of the good words you can possibly think of. I would love to know if you, one, watch Rose on Instagram or TikTok and what your thoughts are about her channels. I would just love to know what your opinion is about her. Her techniques, if you're learning anything from her, I know I have learned so much from her. And also if you've used these brushes, if you've used them, tell me what your opinion is on them because obviously I love them, but I would love to know if there's some critiques that you have or if you are just in as much awe of them as I am. 
Other than that though, that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It just helps me out. Oh, and before I forget, don't forget to hit the bell and select all on your notifications. That way you'll be notified every time my videos go live. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. I'm here on Tuesdays and Fridays, 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye.